has as nice a monitor as Michael has here in their studio. But everyone probably runs different screen resolutions. Um, so we thought it'd be cool if you could actually come here first off and just say, okay, I want to make the mixer, uh, but let's make it completely scalable in size so that I can have whatever size of the mixer to fit my screen resolution. Oh, so this way you can actually screen. use your whole screen. Cool. Uh, I have a friend in Nashville, he actually has eight monitors for his Cubase setup. It's, it's kind of obscene in many ways. <laughs> but he has like four monitors, like this, two monitors this side kind of uh, pointed vertically as his project went down. He has four 24 inch, inch monitors below as his mixer and two other monitors as his input mixer. So, it looks very Star Trek. So, now he can use every single pixel of his screens for his actual, um, you know, mixer view. Now, a couple things in the mixer. We're going to have different sections of the mixer which can have different focus. So, you'll see a little white outline here. So, we can see our channel selector here. We have also a rack section in the middle, and then we have our fader. So if you hit the tab key, that will take you kind of down, and shift plus tab will take you back. So and so some some if you're kind of playing around with it, and then you don't, if you're doing a keyboard shortcut that you think should be working, it could be that you have the wrong area of focus currently selected. You have different icons across the top here. Uh, one that's like super handy is a transport control. So if you have one screen, you can now have your transport control right here on the mixer without kind of taking away from your mixer view. Uh, but these can be customized by right clicking here. Uh, you'll have kind of a default set, but depending on your screen resolution, you can just go for everything. And this would include markers, um, and these can be customized as well. So I could just say, okay, let's show all. And now I want to like jump between different markers, or if I wanted the transport to be all the way to the right or to the left, I could come here, right click, customize the view, select the transport, and then I could just simply move its position. So, and then you could have different preset configurations stored. So if you have a tracking preference versus a mixing preference versus editing, you can have presets. Um, our channel selector is very easy for coming right here and just saying, okay, I want to select all my drum channels. So you select the top channel, hold down your shift key, select the bottom channel, you can select all your channels. But if I wanted to hide particular channels within the mixer, I could just come here and just click on the little circle to the left of the nice. name. Nice. And that way I don't have to see those particular channels. That's nice. <clears throat> all right. Now, if I have folder tracks set up, we could also say, okay, I want to hide all my guitars. So I could click on the folder track and then just hide everything within that folder. <coughs> now, folder tracks are very useful, and so we thought it'd be cool if you could actually, from the mixer, right click and move the selected tracks and create a folder track from within the mixer. That's nice. So, now there's also a zones tab here. So if you Let's say I always want my master fader to be on the right hand side of the mixer. And in this case, maybe I want the lead vocal to be anchored to the left side of the mixer. So if I click in the left circle, that'll put my lead vocal just solely on the left side of the mixer. And as I kind of scroll my mixer, you can see my master fader will be anchored to the right and my lead vocal oh, nice. will be anchored directly to the left side. That's cool. And then everything can go just like that. Now, we can also, you know, before we had a narrow and a wide view, you say you had kind of two sizes and width. Now you could just use your G and H keys and zoom your mixer oh, okay. so you can have, like, okay, Mr. Magoo size. <laughs> you know, a really bad eyesight. You can do that or you want to see more channels. So you could just easily zoom in and out awesome. just like yeah. that.